giving us here is a triangle with three unknown side lengths. But according to the triangle inequality theorem, any two sides, when you add them together, they're going to be longer than the third side. And a way to kind of visualize this, just to show you an overview, is say, for example, this is uh, one of the sides, and here's the other two sides. If these other two sides don't add up to more than the third side, you can see there's not going to be a triangle here. Even if you rotate these sides down like this, they're not going to be able to reach to span that distance of that third side. So the only way you're going to have a triangle is if you, these two sides are actually, when you add them up, they're longer than the third side. Okay, so using that, we're going to go ahead and make three inequalities, and we're going to solve them. So the first inequality is 2x plus 1 plus 3x minus 4 is greater than x plus 7. So these two sides added together have to be more than this third side. So if we do that, we get 5x minus 3 is greater than x plus 7. If we subtract x from both sides, we get 4x. If we add 3 to both sides, we get 10. And if we divide by 4, we get x is greater than 10 fourths, which is 5 halves. Okay, now let's go ahead and use these two sides. They have to be greater than that third side. So we have 3x minus 4 plus x plus 7 has to be greater than 2x plus 1. So this gives us 4x plus 3 is greater than 2x plus 1. If we subtract 2x from both sides, we get 2x. If we subtract 3 from both sides, we get, uh, let's see, negative 2. And if we divide by 2, x has to be greater than negative 1. Okay, and then the last one is, uh, let's see, we've done these two. We've got these two are greater than this one here. So we've got 2x plus 1 plus x plus 7 has to be greater than 3x minus 4. Okay, so here we get 3x plus 8 is greater than 3x minus 4. And if we subtract 3x from both sides, we get 8 is greater than negative 4, which is always true. So we don't have to worry about that inequality. So we're just looking at these two here. Now, if we graph these on the number line, let's see, here's negative 1. Here's 5 halves, right? So if you're greater than 5 halves, okay, and you're also greater than negative 1. Now, when you think of the word and, it has to satisfy both of these requirements, right? It has to be greater than 5 halves and greater than negative 1. In math, you know, and means the intersection. It means the overlap of the two sets. So where do they overlap? They overlap right here. As long as you're greater than 5 halves, you will also be greater than negative 1. But just because you're greater than negative 1 doesn't mean that you're going to satisfy the requirement of being greater than 5 halves. So we look at where they overlap or intersect, and you can see that as long as x is greater than 5 halves, then we're going to be able to form a triangle with these three sides. So I hope this helped you understand how to work with the triangle inequality theorem better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.